Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Girl Code with B. Today we are going to be doing yet another closet purge. I've been feeling extraordinarily overwhelmed lately and I realize it's because I've been accumulating clothes again. So it's particularly difficult as an influencer to stay a minimalist and that's because we receive so many PR packages and so many objects for review. So just last night I received about I think 15 new items but just because I'm receiving all of that doesn't mean I have to keep all of that so what I am going to do is just go through my wardrobe there's some stuff that I needed to replace and now that I replaced it it's time for it to go so let's just open it up and see what we can get rid of I know there's a ton of stuff that is gonna be leaving us So before we do anything, I'm just going to direct you guys' attention to my rail. That rail has a few items on it that can leave us. So on my rail starting here, we have my blazer. This blazer is from Forever 21. It has a stain on it. I haven't been able to get out. It's going to be leaving us. It's also too big for me now. My trench coat, I'm going to keep still until I replace it. It's still too big for me and I haven't found the right one yet but I still use it in the meantime. My vintage Levi's denim jacket is staying. This beautifully embroidered jacket is staying. This one, however, I don't love. It's pretty cheap and the buttons rattle, which bothers me. My Coors jacket will be staying. My raincoat from Boo Boo though, it's very cheaply made and it's time for it to go. This is an item that will be reviewed for you guys. I'm not sure yet if I like it because I haven't tried it with a swimsuit, but um, I think I do like it. It does have a weird smell to it right now though. So I'm trying to air it out on the rack. This is just my robe, which I will not be getting rid of. Now we'll be moving into my actual cover. We'll start on this side over here. So as you guys can see, everything is organized. I have a few tank tops and a slip in here. I'll be getting rid of this bralette because it's extraordinarily old. The rest of these are relatively new, so they'll be staying. Socks as well will be staying. Most of these underwear are new as well, or fairly new. These ones are getting pretty faded and worn out, so I'll get rid of those. Below that are all of my pajamas, so I'll pull that basket out. I think it'll be easier to show you guys. So all of my pajamas are organized and folded in the KonMari fashion. However, within this area over here, these shorts are too big for me. They fall off and there's no dressing to tighten them. These are also too big and they fall off. This top is uncomfortable. And everything else here is fine, except for this brand new Melville t-shirt that says gnarly on it. It has quite a few holes now. Next is my bathing suit and accessory section. So it is organized just like this. On this side, I will be getting rid of this bathing suit here from Rose Gal. It doesn't fit me very well. It's far too big, especially at the chest. And also these bottoms, they're just plain black bottoms that I got from, I can't remember where, but they are too big for me. And this top I don't love from Zaffle. Within the hanging section of my closet, I do have a lot of items that I'm just finding that I don't like anymore or they're just too worn out. So starting at the back, that will be staying. This dress is a new purchase, but it was purchased too large. I got it in a medium because it was $10. Old habits die hard. This dress will be staying. This dress I have had for three years. I never wear it. It has a heart shape cut out at the back. I got it for really inexpensive, but I just don't use it and it's not really my style. I find these dress pants uncomfortable now. They're a very thick tapestry material. I sit at a desk all day. They're very uncomfortable. Um, I don't know why. I think it's the rise as well. They're not high rise pants. They're petite size, so. These shorts, while adorable, are extraordinarily short for my long legs. The skirt from Romwe is cute and part of a matching set, but it is a little bit too big for me and it looks kind of awkward. This romper is very cute, but it is also too big for me. I love this dress so much. Look how cute it is. This dress from Rose Gal is cute, but it is too big and I don't find myself using it because it is just too low cut. My one teaspoon shirt is staying. This shirt is worn out. It is it wore very quickly. I've only had it, I've had it in less than a year. I got it while I was in England at Primark. And I've used it 8,000 times and washed it 8,000 times and it just looks ratty now. It's time for it to go. That's the problem with buying poor quality items. They don't last very long. This I haven't used at all this year. And this would be the time for me to use it. It's just a tank top. And I don't know why I haven't used it, but I'm not gonna just hang on to it for it to sit there. 
same thing with this top. I have not used it once. I don't research for it. I have so many other tops that I love more. And I don't really like myself in red. This top is a recycled fabric one. I'm really sad about this. It's vintage. It's $5 for it in LA. And I love the pattern, but I have not reached this in a year and a half, at least. I haven't worn it once. So, bye bye to you. I have so many like this and I don't really wear it much. I like it, but realistically how many white tank tops do you? This I haven't worn once since I bought it in England. It's a little bit too big and it's completely see through, so I'm not gonna be using it. Time for these two to leave us. I'm just hanging on to them because I wanted to do a white dress lookbook, but like why is that a reason to hold on to two dresses? is killing me because I am obsessed with this dress. So with this dress my problem is that it has it's just such bad quality. It rips like for nothing. It's the brand Not Sisters who I love, follow on Instagram, I'm, I'm obsessed with but I've already repaired this so many times and it just keeps falling apart and it makes me so angry. Like what is on here right now? So I'm gonna have to part with this dress even though it's like my favorite thing on earth. And I've had it for like a year and a half I think. But it's just like, it just keeps falling apart. This I have not worn. This is my favorite shirt and this one I love too. Look how much more free this is. Oh, amen. Okay, let's go down to the next level. These are all of my shirts. It's a lot, I know. This top is a long gray top that is not flattering. What else am I getting rid of here? I am getting rid of this top, which is very stiff, very uncomfortable from Boohoo again. I don't like Boohoo, it's poor quality. These are all good here on this side. And on this side, this tank top is a size extra small. It is massive, can't be worn anymore. It looks awful on me. Time for you to go. On to pants. I know I said I was never getting rid of a pair of disco pants, but I will be getting rid of my, size, my disco pants in a size large because those are very tattered and old. Three years old, two, three years old, I think. And I don't like how they look anymore. They kind of just look very pulled, very old, very worn, and they were. I wore them probably 80 times. I do have my regular pair in here still though. My size medium. A pair of pair of black boyfriend jeans, one, I actually have three pairs of black, four pairs of black skinny jeans, one is ripped, the other three are not. Those are in the wash though, and I use black jeans constantly, because if I wear black jeans with heels, then I can get away with them for work. So one pair over here, I still need to replace these BDG jeans, because they are too big. They are such a great color, I love them. I can wear them so many times. Boyfriend jeans, skinny jeans, we're good. For my shorts, I will be unfortunately getting rid of these ones, because they are too big for me and they are coated. So they have this like funny puckering thing on the butt because they're very stiff. Although I love them and they're such a great color and they're so cool. They are a US size 10 and I am a size six. So sorry friends, time for you to go. In terms of my other shorts, these shorts are really really pretty. These ones I got from some online boutique in the States and I had to play duties and whatever. They're really cute but they're a little bit too big now and they look awkward on me and I never wear them and they're a little bit shorter than I want them to be. They're a little bit too fancy for every day. Like I don't know how to explain them. In terms of shorts, I just got two of this pair from Pink for like 15 bucks. A black and a white, and they're fantastic. My other shorts are all good for now. I think another pair of them are gonna get too big pretty soon. They're well, they are a little bit too big, but might want to get rid of them pretty soon. So that's it in terms of bottoms for sweaters. Here's my sweater basket. There's only three sweaters in here, and they're all staying. Um, the other stuff in here is just like my boyfriend's clothes that I need to return to him because I don't know where else to put it right now. So I have three sweaters, two of them knit, one of them is a pullover. I do have other sweaters, those are just in the wash. So these ones just actually came out. And then in here is my gym stuff. So in here I will be getting rid of a pair of pants today that is probably gonna shock you guys. My Lululemon, Dan Lululemon da Dance, I can't say this, Lululemon Dance Studio Pants. These pants, I've had them for probably five years. And 
while, and they're size 8, so they're too big now. And while I do like them, they are getting balled up on the thighs and everything. I've just had them for too long. They're just worn to death. I used to wear those to work when I worked at my family's restaurant, like almost every shift. Those pants have been abused, used and abused. Okay, so I feel so much more like refreshed and happy. I've got a big pile on the ground. This isn't gonna be the total thing. I know there's gonna be more stuff I'm getting rid of that's just in the wash right now. And then also from this pile here of stuff from Zaffle, I know I'll be getting rid of some of that stuff too because some of it just doesn't fit properly. It's really amazing and I'm not complaining that I get sent all these PR packages, but I get so, so much that I don't need it. And if I don't like exactly how something looks, then I'm gonna donate it because I don't need that cluttering up my closet in my life. I can't even explain to you guys. I feel like I just lifted an anvil from my chest. It's been just too much and it's just been a pile. But this pile of stuff on the floor here, that's not gonna be the final pile and I will just show you guys all the other stuff I decided to get rid of. Uh, but this is pretty much how things I want it to be. Like. This is a little bit more than finger spacing width. I can put all my jackets in here if I want, but I'm still using the rack. The rack is, I think I might just transition it to my like PR rack. All along the bottom of it on the shelf, I have all like makeup and stuff that was sent to me. I just got another PR box from Burberry today, which is amazing. I'm so excited to try it. It's just a bunch of different highlighters. So I'm really, really excited to try this stuff out, but I have been shopping a little bit on my own too, which is also not good. Just like a few key pieces because I find that as a professional now, I work in an office, like I work for a media company. So uh, I'm not always in the office. Sometimes I'm going to meet with clients. So I do need to look professional and I need to have things that are not so casual, things that are a little bit more dressed up. And then also there's events for the company as well that have to be attended. So I kind of have to have a little bit more to my wardrobe, a little more substance to my wardrobe than basically what I'm wearing right now, is, which is just like a crop sweater from Zara, which in my normal life, this is what I wear. But because I work every day, I work five days a week at the office, it's full-time hours. So I need to have like a full-time wardrobe. Minimalism, I don't want you guys to get bogged down by a number. Minimalism is not about having five pieces in your wardrobe. Minimalism is about having only pieces that you love and things that get used. It's, you're having not like least-ism or like two items-ism. It's minimal, so the minimum that you can have, the minimum that works for you. Don't leave yourself with like one t-shirt and like one pair of jeans because what are you gonna do when that's in the wash? Are you gonna walk around naked? I don't think so. Personally, like that's being a little bit dramatic, but I feel like with this wardrobe, I'm pretty much good. I don't really need anything else. I had like one pair of sweatpants before, so I bought another pair because I find that joggers for me for being at home the other whatever hours of the day that I'm not working. I like wearing sweatpants, I like wearing joggers, and leaving myself with one pair was kind of uh, ridiculous. I kind of overdid it in the previous purges, but I'm really happy to be getting rid of these items here. A lot of these were PR items, and a lot of the items that I do get rid of are PR items. So I did buy myself some stuff recently, so I will be showing you guys a couple of hauls. Those are just things that I felt were missing from my wardrobe, so like a couple of blouses and stuff, but I will show you guys that. Stay tuned for another purge because I feel another one coming. This one was good for now, but I think there's a few more things that I'll be getting rid of. A lot of my clothes are in the wash right now. It's It's gotten pretty bad. It's gone in, this is like in two months because I'm getting PR packages once or twice a week of just like hordes of clothing. And then I shopped a little bit too, which is not something I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep it to the minimum. So also the sound, let me know what you guys think. I did just get a road mic from my friends and my sister, Kristen, Dan, and Alessia. Thank you very much. I hope this really improves the quality of sound. I know a lot of you guys have been complaining about it forever. I'm trying. I gotta figure out how it works still. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think I'm still keeping too many things? Which piece in my wardrobe should I get rid of? Tell me. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you do like. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for staying in touch with me. I know I've been here and there. It's been touch and go with editing. Uh, I'm very busy. I'm the social media manager at the company, so it's a lot of work. But I love it. It's amazing. I'm so happy with my job, and I love absolutely love what I do. I have the millennial dream job. I get to post on social media all day.
it's fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that red subscribe button down below if you haven't already and join the Girl Code family. If you'd like to keep up with me on Instagram in between videos, just so you can check out what I'm doing, it is Girl Code with B the same way it is spelled here and I will have a link to it down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.